for hanging out with us. My name's Sarah. Patricia Nash is here. She is the head designer. She travels the world. She just got back from overseas. She's here with us for a few days, and then she's off to Italy and yes. back again. Uh, so when she's here, we have to make the most of her visit and do our shopping. This is the Barati Convertible Tote. I'm so glad this is in the show because there's some really exciting features on this one and some really great color choices. But all hand cut out designs with this wonderful open floral design, almost like a, a wonderful little peekaboo to a metallic fabric underneath. And then we'll get to the wonderful crackled rose garden, which is kind of in a class by itself. You wanna get a sneak peek of this one? Yeah, I don't even know it on straw. where to begin. This is unlike the other ones. This is a beautiful rose garden print that's done on a woven straw. Straw. Yeah. Wow. Isn't that fun? This Can you time guys of get the year. In close? Yeah, thank you so much. This is amazing. I've never seen yeah, a I, printed I, straw bag. I know. I was just, it took us a while to formulate and really make it look, but it, now it looks like the flowers are just kind of dropping down the straw. It just really turned out beautiful. And I love those wow. roses. There's that dusty rose and that soft green and the leads. It's just really, really pretty. Oh, and it's all done with genuine leather bottom, genuine leather details, genuine leather rope twist, covered handles, and of course the crossbody strap. So that's kind of in a class by itself and I don't <laughs> expect it to last. If you don't have a woven straw bag, uh, try this one because Patricia Nash does them like nobody's business and that is so lightweight. Then we have our three leather choices and this choice is going to be our white tooled. We're gonna say last call. We only have about a dozen or so to go around here. Isn't it's that got beautiful? that champagne metallic underneath it, which is just, it just sets it off. But look at all that, that's hand cut, uh, tooled, and then hand stained, where they just rub out the wax of that color on there. It's just gorgeous. That's pretty. And it feels like butter, doesn't it? Oh, super soft, and it's all super soft, smooth leather on the back. This is going to be the black, and the black has this wonderful, just beautiful, yeah, veg -tan solid leather. veg tan leather all the way through and through front and back, and then we have it for you in the tan, which is that classic tan color. And I love the color of your tan. It is. How do you how do you choose the colors and? Well, this is a classic. This is exactly, you know, I spent several years in Italy really working with the tanneries and learning how to tan leathers. And this, this Italian, this is tanned by the bark of an Italian mimosa tree, if you can believe it. Mm. Um, and, and tanning, the leather is really important because what I wanted to do is keep that grain, that full grain leather look so that you can see it. Here, we're, here again, we're showing the burned edges. And again, just really putting emphasis on this is a handcrafted uh, item. This isn't gonna be a perfect item that looks all, they all look the same. They're not mass produced. Yeah, you're gonna see the individuality of each bag. You're gonna, you're gonna know that somebody burned the edges and cut these panels by hand and sewed it on a single needle machine. You, you're gonna see that and the twisted rope on the handles. And then the leather, you're gonna see the grain in the leather. You'll see some areas where you can see the marks of the grain um, and you'll have some areas that are um, more wrinkled maybe than others because this is this is all the natural leather. This is the skin of the cow, and then there's a finish put on it. So it's just it's it's just as natural as you could be with a leather bag actually. It's so gorgeous, and I think that's what lends to the authenticity of these bags. I mean, it feels like somebody handcrafted this bag for you. They feel custom made. Yeah. They feel like a one of a kind. When you walk around, everyone's gonna notice your bag and ask you, what are you wearing? Especially when it comes to this version that you're looking at now. This is the Crackled Rose Garden, and this is the only one that's not done in solid leather, but you took a vintage print and put it on woven straw. Yes, I did. How did you come up and with And you know, I'm really surprised. That technique. Um, well, you know, it was actually the HSN buyer was in our New York showroom, and she saw this print in, on leather, and she goes, you know, I really wanted a straw bag. I wonder if you could print on straw, and I went, hmm, 
Hmm, I don't know. So I spent a few months working on it. So this is the only place in the country you can buy this straw, oh, print it on the straw. Wow. It's the only place um, that is selling this. I mean, I wish I would have sold it to everybody. Everybody would want it. Right. <laughs> but but it, it was really a clever idea. So I can't take credit for that. I mean, you'll, then buyer you'll, did. you'll have like a one of a kind yeah. bag. Also, this is very, very limited. This is called the Crackled Rose Garden. Every other detail here is done in leather. Uh, let me talk dimensions uh, while we're here so I can show you. This is a nice, generous bag. It's going to be 12 and three quarters of an inch across. It's about 10 and a half inches high, four inches across the bottom. There's feet on the bottom. It stands up. The handles fall out of the way. They're on those beautiful gold tone hinges. It's a rope design that's covered in leather, so it has that wonderful shape and texture and flexibility that feels so good in your hand and doesn't dig into your shoulder. Everyone's getting the crossbody strap, which is gonna give you another uh, oh, 42, 43 inches to work with. That's adjustable and removable, so if you don't want the crossbody strap, you can keep it on the inside. But there's a lot on the inside too. Did we show Absolutely. the inside yet? And the zipper pocket on the back. Yeah. I mean, it's a deep pocket. It goes all the way to the bottom. So again, that's just super when you're traveling or something or you have a really big phone. Look how barred down that is. So that's great. And then the center area, as you talked about, look at that. I mean, it's got the zip all the way across and look how big that is. So again, you've got the side pocket uh, the, the two elastic pockets on one side, and then on the other side, you've got a zipper wall, all the, oh good, it's open. Look at mm. that, how big that pocket is. And I like it because it's a nice roomy tote, but yeah. it's not overwhelming. And then it's got the key fob on here too, so to hold your keys. Mm. So this is a great tote. It I like really the clean is. lines too. If you just want to keep it clean and minimalistic and you want to go contemporary, you can either grab the tan or the black. They're unadorned. So again, they'll never go out of style. They'll be like your go-to tote bag, you know, to and from the office, to and from school. If you know a graduate, if you know someone that's, you know, headed to law school or medical school or graduate school or college this fall, it'd be such a great, great idea as a gift. That is a great idea. Uh, I'll give you a close-up of our most limited color, which is the white tooled. Uh, we're just gonna say last call on the white tooling. That this is, is the last time you're gonna see this beautiful bag. And today's the day, it's $50 off. We have extra flex pay for our summer flex events. So you can get it home for less than $50. We have free shipping. You see her beautiful insignia here at the bottom. That's her grape leaf logo, uh, inspired by her Many glasses of wine <laughs> that it took during the design process. Well, or well, the story maybe, goes. Maybe your maybe your trip to the Italian. Yeah, vineyard. yeah, it was. It was in Tuscany, so I'm really excited. We're going back in two weeks, and it's always uh, down memory lane being there. Especially my whole family's coming with us this time, mm -hmm. so it's going to be a lot of fun. But yes, the grape leaves I was inspired by. I mean, if you've ever had the opportunity to go to the vineyards in that area, it is just so. Beautiful, and I just started drawing on a napkin of those grape leaves together, and came. Okay, I need to give you some quick updates. Uh, the white.